I am completely lost now. Where the hell do I go next? I don't really know, but I just remembered. Hey, oh yeah, baby. I have a brain. It's finally in motion. It's over here. Hello from Tokyo, my Jade Warriors. Isaac here, and we are back for some more Lega Sister. Yes, we are at the base of the Ivy Tower with our main man, Alto, ready to track down the bitch that stole our Crystal Sister from us last episode. Yes, the very bounteous, bootyous bitch that stole her from us. We're going to track it down, kick her ass, and get Alto's sister back in our loving collection. So... I think as we're going to be playing this game for a little while, guys, I thought, you know, now that I've noobed it up for enough episodes, I would spend a little time outside of our usual recording session, sh sessions getting to grips with the equipment system. So, a huge, huge thank you to Fine Noise, one of our awesome Jade Warriors, who let me know a lot of the finer details on uh, playing the game in the comment section below, just like you can, and I hope you do too. Remember, guys, be a part of the conversation. I want to know your answers to every single daily question. So anyway, thank you very much, Fine Noise, Fine Noise, Fine Noise, for letting me uh, know how to open all those bronze doors we've been coming across in the dungeons in the last couple of episodes. So, apparently, Alto is allowed to change up his energy frame that will actually completely change, as you can see up the top there, the equipment and items that he can utilize at any one time. So I'm going to make our leading shirtless man, Alto, uh, be a youth scout, and I'm going to equip him with the best of the best. He's going to, he's going to be our sword wielder for a little while, and we're going to see how that works out for him. So, we're just going to equip the best of the best, but most importantly, when we get to the thieving ability, again, kudos to Fire Noise, we are going to equip the Bronze LS Old B. So, if we press the triangle mount button, you'll see that this ability actually allows us to open bronze doors like a locksmith. Yes! Alto has somehow managed to do a year-long tertiary course in five seconds. Thank goodness he's so smart and quick on the quick on the draw. So there we go. We're going to be able to backtrack and equip us some awesome items that we salvaged from those bronze doored rooms. So as also as you can see from this new energy uh, energy field energy frame. That's it. Energy frame. We can actually also equip shields. So that's why I'm going to make Alto our shield. Uh, our shield and sword bearer from now on for at least a short time to see how it works out because he can actually equip a shield. When I checked out Melisa's energy frames, she's actually not able to do so. But she is able to uh, do an awesome awesome stabbing attack. And as you can see from the, the right end of her item energy frame, frame, you can see that she has a ton of health bars available. So She'll be able to replenish those while she's not uh, the main character exploring the dungeons. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna set her up with that and equip her the second best of everything. Come on, girl. You can wear the rings and equip some daggers and whatnot. There we go. You get the second best of everything, girl. And apparently she likes wearing a hell of a lot of rings. There we go. There we go. Aren't you a happy little camper now? Yes, you are. You're all equipped to kick some ass. And yeah, she's got a ton of life. That's pretty damn sweet. No one ever knew before this game how much life an android could actually have. But Melise, she's a special case, isn't she? So. <laughs> Let's get back into the Bungle Mountain. Let's open up these bronze doors that have been keeping us at bay for the last couple of episodes and prove our metal, prove our worth, and prove how awesome I am becoming. Having spent a little bit of our recording downtime getting to grips with the combat system. Stupid spider. Don't embarrass me in front of all the Jade Warriors. My god, Spider. So nice. You're mean! Oh crap, we got poison already. That's okay. 
Okay, I'm getting better at timing and everything, and we've got a shield. Oh yeah, let's see. Let's see how effective this shield is. I haven't actually used the shield to block anything yet. Oh, it reduced. It reduced the damage. Reduced the damage we would usually have taken from something like that. And whoop, there we go. We can heal that any damage we took up right away. We can use traps skillfully to kill our enemies. Say, so, oh, what? What? What happened to the trap? Uh, whoops. Take that fight I already killed. Take that detox sprout. Yes. You're dead now. Ow, that hurt. All right, so. I wonder if the shield can block poison. Probably not. But it's probably worth a try, isn't it? Let's see. Let's see how effective it is. Oh, oh. Yep, that shield's pretty awesome. It's stopping a lot of damage from being dealt to our main man. His pretty, pretty face is well protected behind the wooden shield he has equipped. But, you know, the bigger shield, the better. The better protection. Oh, yeah, look at that. I'm doing it, guys. I'm actually... I'm, ow! Ahem. I was, I was about to say, I'm actually getting better at timing and not sucking, but that ball proved me wrong, Jimmy. Oh, yeah. Pollinate! Pollinate that area! Yes. And now you're dead, mushy. I'm going to turn you in a stew and eat you in front of your children. Yeah! Make your children watch me eating your brain. That's how evil I am. Well, you know, eating all these bean sprouts in this freaking place is driving me to, to extremes. It's driving me to... If it's cannibalism made a person, what is eating a mushroom? Um, mushroomism? But I'm not really a mushroom man, anyway, so it's not really relevant. I'm just talking crazy, crazy, crazy at the moment, guys. Crazy, crazy, crazy at the moment. I can't run when I have a shield equipped. Why is that? Why is that? Why can't I run with a shield equipped? Can I just use it like a skateboard? Whee! Oh, I jumped too, too early. But damn, those earthquakes do a lot of damage. I guess I should know. I was in Japan last year when the bloody earthquake hit. Tsunami, my god, that fucking sucks, but... Ugh. Yeah, earthquakes suck. If you guys don't know, if you guys haven't experienced earthquakes much yourself, they freaking suck. It was pretty crazy here in Japan. But anyway, look at Alto. He's got tons of different stuff equipped. He's got swift attacks equipped. He's got a, uh, you know, equipment of repair magic ability equipped. But the most important of all, he, we have ourselves our thieving locksmith doing ability equip so we're gonna put that to good use right now for the very first time here we go guys and snap yay Woo! our crappy shield let's see if we can equip uh repair his shield with that other ability I was just um hmm. i don't know what that did it did something but not much all right let's <laughs> let's heal up because we could have a battle on our hands in the next room. There we go. All right. Are you ready, Alto? Ready. I'm ready. Let's do this. Oh, he doesn't really talk with like that, does he, guy? More monster All right. Let's go. That's a yes, by the way. <laughs> he can't speak Japanese. All right, come on! Oh, whoa, level 20! Oh, oh, and he, he duplicates himself! That's cheating! I can't duplicate myself! Oh, my God, I need a mirror to be able to do that. All right, stop running around! Freaking level 20s. Ah! Oh, he du Oh, ow! Holy crap, I did no damage from this now. Oh, oh! Whoa, I don't, what am I doing? Oh, uh, Mal Pal contracted yellow poison, apparently. That's good, I guess. Whoa! Ow! Oh, oh, we might have to bring Malise in. Alto's doing squad diddly right now. He's just taking damage. Come on, Alto. I thought you were ready for this, man. What was all that Japanese about? My God, I thought you were, you were about to kick some bunny ass. Seriously, Alto. You're getting your ass handed to you by a bunny man. What is going on? You need, you need a girl to stick up for you? Really? Ah, oh, I'm very disappointed, Alto. You're, you're just, you're not representing my gender at all right now. I think, yep, you deserve to sit out, man, because you just don't have the, the, the moxie. 
and the boss. But at least that was apparently. <laughs> Yay! There we go, guys. We opened and cleared us our first bronze door using a thieving ability. That's pretty damn sweet right there. All right. Let's get straight to the next one. Let's keep backtracking. This is our backtrack episode, guys, if you haven't realized yet. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's all good. We're getting items. We're getting loot. We're getting to grips with the system. And then after this episode, we're going to absolutely pawn, pawn, I tell you, the old warehouse. But for now, come on. Let's bring the battle to the remaining of these mushrooms. Going to keep the walls to the left. Whoa. Come on, my lace. Keep putting Alto in his place. You can do it. Ow! Oh, <laughs> Oh, that was so good. Oh, man. These bunnies are vicious. Damn, I'm going to go to a freaking French restaurant after I finish recording tonight and just hoe down on some dead bunny legs, I tell ya. Alright. Come on. Come on, Malise. Seeing how, how sucky Alto is at everything else, he's probably sucky at killing bunnies, as, uh, bugs as well. You better take care of the yeah, bugs for him. Yeah. Actually, to tell the truth, guys, I freaking hate, hate, hate uh, cockroaches. They scare the crap out of me. Oh! I just noticed! Bottom left corner. Sorry, Fine Noise. Uh, I've had a few people mention, especially Fine Noise, that I haven't been, haven't yet removed the help menu in the bottom left of the screen. So, let's take care of that right now. It is gone. It is absolutely history. Goodbye, help controls. We no longer need you. I'm taking the training wheels off the game, guys. There we go. We're freaking... We're, we're doing it! Yay! We're riding the bike free of... Free of our training wheels. Yay! There we go. Damn, three chests at once. That's one hell of a swing you've got, Alto. You might be able to... to might be able to retain your dignity after all, young man. However, I am very, very lost. I will never regain my dignity, because I can't pronounce words properly. Ah, <laughs> oh, my god. Alright, anyway. Yay! As we continue our backtracking and total domination of these earlier dungeons, guys, free of our training wheels, I wanted to give a shout out to Paper Cloud. Thank you, thank you very much, man. Oops. Uh-oh, scaredy oh. Well, that's why I haven't seen me yet. He's dead now. Ah, oh, oh, poison, poison! Oh, phew. Fuck it. Didn't contract anything. But yes, a huge, huge thank you to Paper Cloud, who, during the last episode, uh, in the comments, he recommended that I check out an anime movie by the name of 5 centimeters per second. It was a, uh, yeah, kind of like a romantic romantic love story done by uh, yeah small time but uh, prominent Japanese uh, yeah anime director I guess you could call her who made uh, yeah this brilliant little love uh, love drama about these two kids that fall in love in high school and damn guys uh, if you like artist uh, you know artistic animes definitely check it out I have never seen lighting used so well in an anime ever. Oh my god, I, I've never noticed lighting so much as I did in that movie. It was freaking awesome. But, holy crap, talk about a just heartbreaking, heartbreaking love story. I, I cried my ass off at the end of the first chapter of that movie. Ouch. And, yeah, it didn't get any better from there, pretty much. <laughs> that was depressing stuff, Paper Cloud. It was brilliant, it was very artistic, and I was very impressed by the director's skill, but... My god... My, my, my box is tissues! It was all used up by the end of the damn film! So, yeah... I highly recommend the artistic direction of the movie, but... Uh, yeah, if you're not into depressing, you know, depressing movies, I... I, I, I recommend skipping that one. So yeah... Depends on what you like. Depends on what you like, gang. It was pretty damn sweet, though. Thank you, Paper Cloud. I definitely, definitely am glad that I saw that movie. Yeah. So, seeing as we're slowly... Let's just check over here before we step on the teleporter. Ooh. Healing traps. Anything else over here? Actually, I'll just keep going to the left here. Did we come, did we come down here, guys? Mm, 
Did we? Did we come down here? Yes, we did. Yes, there's all those stuff. Alright, so let's head into the middle. And let's head north. Did we miss? Oh, no, that's still locked. Uh oh, spaghetti -os. I've missed something! <laughs> Door. I've lost my way. I don't know where I'm going. Where the hell am I? I don't know who I am. What the hell's going on? <laughs> I am completely lost now. Where the hell do I go next? I don't really know, but I just remembered. Hey, oh yeah, baby. I have a brain. It's finally in motion. It's over here. I'm going to flick this. Switch for some reason I didn't flick before I teleported. Oh, that's pretty rough, isn't it, guys? Oh, I apologize to your eardrums. That was pretty. Golden statues. Yay, balls. Hopefully more powerful than the last. And we are clear. Oh, I really, I really thought there was a... Sorry, guys. I thought there was a bronze door in there that we didn't open last time. But apparently, apparently I am mistaken. Like on that autumn in December, when I saw that that lovely lady, it turned out to be otherwise. Ah, they were the days. Ah, how, how I am often mistaken. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I do know what I'm talking about when I say there was a door we didn't get through in this floor of this dungeon. So we're gonna go totally take care of that right now. Now, if I remember correctly, there was a kind of a big-ass spider up here as well. And when I say big-ass spider, I mean a spider with one hell of a big-ass. One hell of a big-ass on your spider over here. Oh, you're level 6. You're not even a challenge. I thought you were supposed to be big. Where was your big one? That wasn't a big one. Ugh, got lied to again. People telling me they have big things for me, and it was just a lie. A lie. Oh, why? What did I do to deserve all these lies? I better kill all these spiders. I have a feeling, though, that the big one might actually... Oh, there she is! There's the big one. Okay. That is satisfactory. That is satisfactorily a big one. Oh, oh, shit. My shield! Ah, I'm facing the wrong way. Yes! Ah. There we go. I've killed all your children. How do you like that? Huh? <laughs> you don't, do you? Yeah, you're gonna be reporting me to the freaking child welfare, aren't you? Ha! Huh. Yeah, you're dead now. Won't be happening any time soon. Alright, my equipment's breaking. I should progress to the next door we need to open directly. Come on, come on, I know you're around here, Bronzo. There it is! And a tombstone. Oh, that's very, very... <laughs> is that... Are you reading my future? Dropping... Frickin' tombstones for me to pick up. My god. Alright, let's equip us the locksmithing ability. There we go. Alright. Let's take a deep breath, guys. Alright. Oh, I bet you it's a level 20 something. It's probably a freaking level 20 mouse. It's gonna kick my ass. Alright. Huh? What? Just a scarecrow? Ah! Oh, the trap the the portal! The portal was a lie, guys! The portal was a lie! Oh, how did you do that to me, Scarecrow? Ah, uh, Chama, Chama Villa. Okay, Chama Chama. Chama Chama. Holy shit, I'm a timber! Holy shit, I'm a timber! Holy shit, I'm a timber! That's. Whoa, this is rough. Okay, okay. Here I was thinking it'd be just one, maybe two level 20s, and it's four level 30s. Holy shit. Uh, this is a uh, much more dire situation than I had anticipated. Oh shit. Oh, I got a critical and it did nothing to them. Oh, but just pissed them off more. Holy crap, I am so concentrating right now. Oh my god, I'm weaving. Oh, I'm totally, totally <laughs> fucking this up right now. Oh no, Melissa's dead! Melissa's dead! No! No! Curses! Oh, I got pawned! There you go, guys. It doesn't pay to be curious. <laughs> what do they say? Curiosity kills the killed the cut. And it also killed Malise and killed Alto. And killed my reputation and my hopes of actually being totally leaked for the entirety of this episode. But sometimes we just have to 
gracefully accept our fate, don't we, gang? So let's leave that episode there for today. Thank you very much for tuning in, guys. It was great to have you here, and I really look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Please like the video if you can. I'd really appreciate it. It would be awesome if we could get this up to 10 likes, but if not, tell me. And, uh, yeah, have a great day. See you guys later. As always, お時間もお楽しみに。じゃあね、気をつけて。また明日ね。バイバイ。